Hi, this is George Summers, and I want to show you how to, you can get started with Google Drive. First off, if you go to the Google homepage, you can sign in by clicking on Sign In. I've already signed in before, but you would be prompted for your username and password to do that. And so you click on that, and you enter in your password. And now I'm signed in because you can see my avatar. This happens to be my eighth grade uh, yearbook picture. Since I since I teach yearbook class, I thought that would be fun. Anyway, uh, two ways to get to Google Drive is to go to this, what we call the waffle. And you can choose Drive from the drop down. And that'll take you to your Google Drive. Another way to get to Google Drive is to simply type in drive.google.com. That will also take you to the Google Drive page. Um, I have many folders. I'm using Google Drive a lot, as you can see, because I've got 110 gigabytes in my account. And since educational accounts are unlimited, I don't have to worry about using up space. But if I want to look for something, like something I have uh, created to submit for SCO, then I can put in a search term as SCO, or I can search for other things like keyboarding, so you can find your lessons, uh, all that kind of thing. If you have files that you want to upload, there are two ways you can do that. One is to click on New, and from New, you choose File Upload. And I'm going to choose a file from my desktop to upload. And let's choose these. This one right here is, happens to be a Word file, which I can later convert to Google Docs. It gets uploaded. And when the upload is complete, it will show you that it's done. Um, another way that you can do that is simply to, and I'm going to move this over to show you, is simply to drag and drop. So if I want this audio file sitting on my desktop to be in my Google Drive, I can just drag it into the window, and it will get uploaded into Google Drive. All right, so that's a few tips to get you started with Google Drive.